welcome back to my channel it is your girl color me bad lynn back on to share an absolutely gorgeous inspired fragrance uh, from a company called okcha this is my first time ever experiencing uh, inspired fragrances from this particular company uh, this fragrance was sent to me uh, and apparently it has been discontinued uh, but I wanted to come on and share this fragrance because it is absolutely gorgeous I love 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 it um, and I wanted to come on and share this fragrance all right uh, but before we get into that I want to welcome you to my channel welcome glad to have you even if you've seen any of my recordings before we would like to welcome you back uh, to our channel just to give you a brief scenario of what we do over here in color me bad nation a whole lot a little bit of everything we talk mainly about the fragrances the fragrances that are in my collection of course those that are on my wish list uh, then we also talk a little bit about natural skincare a little bit about makeup uh, we talk about hair we'll get into a little bit of fashion uh, we'll also talk about love, relationship, <laughs> romance, a little bit about dating, uh, family issues, and faith, most importantly. So I hope everyone is all well and all fine. Yes, so they sent your girl a, a, a complimentary fragrance from Ocha. Uh, and these fragrances typically uh, did a little bit of research. Uh, they normally go for, I think, anywhere between $35 to like $40, somewhere in the $50 range, I believe. And they are inspired by fragrances, um, similar to other companies like Dossier and companies like that. They make fragrances that are inspired by higher-end and designer label fragrances, all right? So this particular inspired fragrance I've never heard of. Um, I'd heard of the company Ocha, but I'd never really heard of this particular fragrance. Uh, and uh, for me, I'm really not that, um, you know, excited about Inspired by Fragrances, um, but I am interested in the company in House of Dossier. I really am. And I'm going to dabble a little bit uh, into that this year uh, because I've heard so many wonderful things about their fragrances and I'm going to indulge. Um, and so, but let's get into it. The fragrance um, that I want to come on and share with you guys, again, is from the company Oakch. I'm going to bring the box in so you guys can see this. Now, for some reason, the tool that I use for recording always flips everything that I show you guys the opposite direction. Uh, so a lot of you guys probably think that I'm left-handed. No, I use both of my hands. But yeah, this so this recording actually um flips everything around i noticed that the other day when i was on uh, talking about some samples from macy's that i got and the box was backwards but the name of the company is oak Chai. so if you know if you have that gift and talent of being able to read words that are spelled backwards ding 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 ding, ding then this shouldn't be a problem for you but again this company is oak Chai. this is how the box comes i really really like that beautiful presentation okay and I'm going to open it up for you guys so you can actually see how it looks on the inside. I was impressed with the presentation. So you lift this up. And it's one of those boxes that I love. If you guys remember the um, uh, review that I did on some candles way back when from Aldi. Um, it came in a class, a clapback box. I love that. You can see the name of the company on the side as well. Very, very nice. I really appreciate it. It's in the details. All right, and this is how it lays inside of the box. So I like to call these fragrance coffins because that's what it looks like. Um, if you've ever received any type of award or accolade that came inside of a box like this, it's just something mystique about that. You know what I mean? It's like a different feeling. Um, and so that's what this gives you. That's the vibe that this gives me, okay? So I'm gonna take this out and hopefully I don't struggle taking this out. I don't wanna break a nail I've been growing them for a long time okay so you just lift it out and I'll show you like the inside here um, it's got a little bit of an, an inscription in there if you guys can see that probably telling us about the company and all that good good stuff um, so it says welcome to our world of fragrances oh I like that very very nice and then they give us a 
a beautiful note here we handcraft our fragrances blase blah premium this that and the other i am on board so far so good i love like i said i love the presentation absolutely gorgeous um this is the actual bottle here this is a 30 ml i believe um and the name of this fragrance is called blue stallion and it is a parfum extract that's right up my alley because i love parfum extracts this is the bottle now you've heard before that i am a fanatic for black and white bottles uh and i've gotten into my red bottles. i noticed i had a lot of red bottle fragrances um as well but it's just something about the mysticness and about and the sleekness of an all black bottle for me um i've shared on many occasions if it's an all white bottle or all black bottle and now i'm into my reds i will give it a try they have never failed me um this is a unisex fragrance i want to bring the bottle in a little bit closer so you can see that i don't know if you can see that detail but embedded in there is oak cha that's the name of the fragrance company i'm really impressed i really like the way the bottle looks um i really like the fragrance it definitely has some oud in it so you know that's my thing again this is a unisex fragrance um i do love my unisex fragrances um, because a lot of times they work really beautifully for me um, and this is more of uh, probably like a cooler weather fragrance um, but I love wearing fragrances like this um, in the summertime but I, I was feeling a little bit of a, a snowy cool crisp uh, ski trip vibe and that's what made me come on and talk about this today um, Blue Stallion is inspired by a fragrance called Midon. Okay, Midon is an extremely high-end niche uh, brand and fragrance, um, and that's what this is inspired by. And if this is anywhere close to Midon, Midon has got it going on. That's a fragrance that I have yet to smell, uh, and I'm definitely going to get my nose on it because I would love to um, actually smell the original of this. Uh, and possibly add it to my collection. This is gorgeous. Let me share with you what is in Blue Stallion. So if you're not familiar, um, and these are types of fragrances that you're interested in, you may want to add this to your collection. Blue Stallion. Your top notes are saffron, lavender, kind of blew me and shocked me, bergamot, which is your lime and citrus. It has cypress. It has grapefruit in it. It has cinnamon in it. When I saw it had cinnamon in it, I smelled it when I first sprayed it out. And that's what got my attention was that cinnamon. Okay, we can move on. Nutmeg. Yes. Cinnamon and nutmeg noted fragrances automatically take you to that holiday time of the year. Even if it's steaming hot where you live at during the holiday seasons. And what I mean by holiday seasons is your Thanksgiving season, your Christmas and your New Year's time of the year that's what this gives me um even though i would wear this in the summer this gives me that vibe cold weather you know it's just absolutely gorgeous so let's move on it has styrax in it um it has artesmia it also has cardamom in it which is another spice it has apple in it which i really 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 appreciate it um it, your heart note it has geranium in it um, and it has several other notes in it as well that you would definitely enjoy. Of course, it has oud in it. Um, that's what kind of draws me to this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you don't like an oudy noted fragrance, you might not care for this. Um, it's, re it's, it's way up there. It's very, very strong. Very, very potent. I tried a little bit on bare skin yesterday to kind of get a vibe for how long this will last and uh i didn't get that much of a longevity out of this scent um but i'm i'm thinking that um with the proper layering it would give you at least four hours i would hope uh i like my fragrance to, to last 
four to eight plus hours at least you don't always get that out of a fragrance and sometimes you're only wearing your fragrance for a special occasion or to uh hang around and cuddle with your significant other so a couple hours is all you really need with a lot of fragrances but when you pay a lot of money for fragrances which the fragrance that this is inspired by is expensive um you want to get a little bit of wear out of your fragrances um this is very very strong it leans more on the masculine side so i do want to let you know that ladies if you do decide to try to grab up a bottle of this which like i said i believe this is discontinued because i went in after i received this um uh, from the courier i went in to pull up the notes for this and when i go to their website this doesn't come up anymore <laughs> so i'm assuming that it was discontinued um, but it is a very nice fragrance if you're able to get your hands on this, if you love oud. Um, if you're looking for a beautiful fragrance for the gentleman in your life, um, I highly recommend adding this to your collection. Um, this is staying in my collection. I, I do have several fragrances that I own that are unisex that lean more on the masculine side. I love oud. I love cinnamon. Um, I love uh, bergamot and I love nutmeg and cardamom in my fragrances. Then they threw, gave us a little bit of apple. Um, I wasn't able to retrieve all of the notes in this fragrance. But if you have Midan in your collection, um, that is what this is inspired by. And like I said, I would love to get either a decant, a sample, or just get my nose on that fragrance to find out what it's giving us. Because like I said, if it smells anything like this, and if they got close to that fragrance, I would love to own that fragrance in my collection. This is gorgeous. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful replacement um, for your Udi fragrances that may be a little bit too strong and you like a little bit of a softer Udi note. I would love to combine this with a beautiful rose oil uh, because I love oud and rose together. And I think that's on, the only thing that's missing out of this that will make me fall in love with this fragrance. Um, but I'm very grateful to have this in my collection. So far, so good. Um, again, this is my very first time um, celebrating the brand of Ocha. And I really enjoyed this fragrance. It is called Blue Stallion. It is a unisex fragrance. Again, it leans more on the masculine side, but you know your girl, I'm going to soften this thing on up and make it right for me. Uh, it is gorgeous. If you have a significant uh, other in your life, they might try to swipe this up. So if you get a hold of a bottle of this, if you can still find it, get two bottles uh, because they're going to use your stuff. They're going to use it up. It's really, really good, you guys. Again, Blue Stallion by Ocha. You know what I always say when I have a fragrance that's in my collection that I recommend that you add to yours? If you can get your hands on this, because it's going to be hard, get you some. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad that I had an opportunity to try out Ocha's fragrances. I can't wait to find out what their other fragrances um, smell like. Like I've heard so many great things about this company. Uh, and I finally got my hands on a bottle and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, very, very beautiful fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. I give them a 10 on presentation. You guys, this is gorgeous the way this bottle lays in this box. I was like, you giving me all this sophistication in a niche for, for a very budget-friendly cost. This is gorgeous the way that they lay this. And you know I'm all about those details. I'll bring it over a little bit closer so you can actually see that. It's a little bit dark, so it may be hard for you to actually see that but i love that and then the box just closes down and claps like that so if you don't want to display this box um and you're not sure whether or not you want to gift this away after you receive it this is a perfect way to store it all right all right well that's all i wanted to come on and chat about today i finally got my hands on a piece of ocha's inspired by fragrance this one is blue stallion it is a duplicate or inspired by the fragrance called a midan and the midan is spelled m-e-y-d-a-n oh child two thumbs up thank you so much I greatly appreciate all of your you guys' love and support. If you have any fragrances from Ocha, let me know down in the comments what you think about their fragrances. And if you own any other ones, which ones you think I should add to my collection. They are extremely affordable. They have bundle deals. Girl, hush. This is Color Me Bad Lens. And thank you guys for watching.
Peace.